I have the Samsung Galaxy S23 here, and in today's video, I'll be showing you how to use third-party icon packs on all Samsung Galaxy devices with the help of a good lock module called Theme Park. This process does not require root access, and you get to keep using the One UI launcher as well. So no need to use custom launchers here either. But before I can talk about that, we have a word from today's sponsor. Steam Deck Explained is a new YouTube channel that I created around the end of last year. Just like this channel, my goal is to create a repository of guides and tutorials about the Steam Deck. So if you have that device, or maybe you just want to help me out, I'm currently trying to get to the 1,000 subscriber mark on the new channel. Right now I'm at 619. So I'll have a link to this channel in the video description below and would really appreciate it if you all went there and subscribed. So let's get back to setting up icon packs on Samsung Galaxy smartphones and tablets. For this to work, we first need to install the GoodLock application. This is something that we can get from the Galaxy Store, but I have read that Samsung published it in the Google Play Store as well. Now, if you cannot find it, then it may not be available in your region. I do have a workaround video for an application called NiceLock that helps people get around those region restrictions. And you'll find details about both apps in the description below as well. So, no matter where you get the GoodLock application, once it has been installed, we're going to want to open it up. And then we need to find the Theme Park module in this list. Now, modules that are not installed are going to have this down arrow next to it. So find the theme park module and then tap the down arrow next to it. That will install the module to your device. And then once it looks like this, we can begin theming your icons. So let's open up the theme park application and then look to the bottom as we want to tap on the icon tab. Then from here, we're going to tap on the Create New button. And now we're going to look toward the top as we need to tap on this big blue icon pack icon up here. Once we tap that, we can then begin to choose which icon pack we want to install. Now, if you do not have any icon packs installed, both sections will be blank, but this top section here is for Samsung Galaxy icon packs that were downloaded from the Galaxy Store. And the bottom section here is for third-party icon packs that were downloaded from the Google Play Store. So I already have one icon pack installed, but if you don't have any installed, we can tap either of these buttons to dive into that respective app store. When you have an icon pack installed, we can select it with a simple tap, and then we're gonna wait a little bit for the app to load in those icons. We even get a preview here, then we can change the shape and even the colors of these icons. So maybe you wanted the shapes of the icons to look a little bit different. The icons that are not themed can be shaped in this way. Again, we can also change the icon colors or the tray color as well. But we're going to leave those as the default setting here. So again, this is going to be your preview. And when you are ready to apply this icon pack, we can do it by tapping on the save button down here at the top right. 
it's this down arrow that will save. You're going to be asked to give it a name. And I'm just going to name it the same as our icon pack. But that's going to be what this is named here. And once that has been created, we can tap it and then tap on the apply button to apply those icons. Now, whenever we go back to the home screen, you can see we have third party icons pack support on our One UI launcher. It's really rare to see an OEM allow third party icon packs to be used with their built in launcher. These are usually very limited when it comes to features. So it's great to see Samsung offering something like this. Now we do have to go through the good lock module system to use it, but I'm excited to begin looking for a new icon pack to use. And let me know which icon packs you like the most down in the comment section below.